This is a tweet that we brought up oh, a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. And it was the look on our face when someone DMs us that in use stealing is seven wins this year. We have the, the rock. <laughs> right. It was a it was a nice gift or GIF. I can't I can never remember. What I to like say. GIF. I just go with GIF. I've just, just committed GIF. to it. Like, is it Nike or Nike? And I just, <laughs> I just committed to GIF. And then we followed it up with, by the way, we should also include that. We give the same look when someone tells us the floor is X. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll set the stage here, Mac, okay. and then give me your thoughts on this. And Redcasters watching along, you've all been a part of this conversation. Someone comes up and says, uh, you know, Husker football, I don't care, uh, Georgia football, you, mm -hmm. anybody, your floor is eight. It's nine. It's 10. It's six. It's mm -hmm. whatever. So or I'm sorry, your ceiling is. And then your floor is four or it's five or it's six. So they're setting that number. Mm -hmm. When someone tells you that, Mac, when you kind of have, when that starts the conversation, what's your thought usually? Well, it, it, it's a little dependent on the uh, the situation at hand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with, with the last five years of frost, you mean you had a little data to back up some of those claims and you knew what the team was going to look like roughly and what we were going to do. But when you talk a coaching transition and a, and a big kind of uh, uh, philosophy change, to me, it's just, it's exactly that eye roll. It's like, what are you talking about? How could you possibly know? You have no idea what this team's going to look like, how it's going to perform. Uh, you're not taking in, into account the fact that if we all would agree that the, some of the issues of, of our, uh, the failing in the past was details, small things, little things, uh, then if, if coaching matters and we think, and I think you think it does, then why don't we let these guys coach a little bit and see if they if they've cleaned it up? I, I think we'll know pretty quick, but I don't think we're ever going to know this off season. I, there's just yeah. no way to know. We don't even know what the starting lineup is for the most part. So it's like, stop giving me those things. I mean, I anyone who predicts like 10, 11, I'm, I love that. I mean, I think that's that's cool, but that's kind of where my head is anyway. It's like, well, to me, there's no there's no reason to put a number on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, let's just see how it goes for a little while. I mean, I get it's fodder and it's fun to talk about in the off season, but. It, and, and then that's okay too. But some people say it with such certainty. It's like, well, you're never going to blow. I'm like, well, how could you possibly know that? And, I, and this is, to me, it's not even a Nebraska conversation. Like a year, agreed. a year ago, what was TCU ceilings? Because whatever somebody would have told you a year ago right now, it was going into year one of the Dykes era. Yeah. They blew it out of the water and went to the oh, championship show. game. Mm -hmm. What was Northwestern's floor last year? <laughs> you know, I mean, it would have been pretty easy a year ago to say, ah, three wins, four wins. That's their floor. They won one. Mm. And that one was against us. You're welcome. You know, we were up so. double digits in the third quarter and kicking on site. So, mm. you know, mm. look, it, it seems so silly. And, you know, and Abby, you made that point there that rosters aren't even set. Uh, you know, how can you decide ceiling on the floor? And I completely. Are those live? Yep. Oh, yep. Nice. Those are coming in right now. Those, <laughs> are, those are live viewers. Oh, is this the internet? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, yes, um, I, thought we had just, I just thought we had some loaded up, you know. Well, and that's why we like going live, Matt, because we yeah. like that interaction. I do with like the, the feedback. The, I just wish I could viewers. read it. I don't have my readers on. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think that's the thing is that kind of to, to Abby's point right there, there's so many things that are just open right now. Yeah. Like, how can you sit there? Yeah. If someone comes up to you and says, nah, Nebraska ceiling this year is eight, why? I mean, yeah. what, what's the injury situation right. going to be like once you get into the season? What's the the weather going to be like? You know, there's are there going to be suspensions? These are real yeah. life things that happen that, that you can't even begin to predict right now, yep. let alone. And that's with both teams. Right. And so, you know, and when you ask them change. why, too, they, what do they do? They point to last season. Oh, they point like, to things that are completely that doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Like it's it's a totally different. It's a totally different paradigm now. We, yeah. we, we're doing a different defense. We don't even know what the offense is going to like. We're going to have a fullback. We're going to we're going to huddle. OK, that hasn't happened in a while. Yeah. So to, to act like you have some some data points to use, they're they're useless. I know the analytics guys are going to hate this. I know they are. But yep. but it's I'm sorry. You're going to have analytics to tell you what happened next year. But you, it's, it's just I'm sorry. They're, you're, you're not going to it's all guessing. You're, you know, it's all it's all a little poke and a hope. And, you know, optimistic fans are going to land a little more optimist. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there's and I know a lot of fans are kind of snake bit. And I get that. I do mm -hmm. get that. But. I just don't like going into football seasons like that. I really don't. Well, you know, I, I've heard, I've had some of these conversations on, on the Twitter sphere in the last couple mm. weeks too, where somebody will say, we'll start talking talent. Uh. And, you know, Frost has had enough talent to win six or seven games a year. And I'm like, well, my God, last year we could have, we won four games mm. and we had three games where we had double digit leads in the second half, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Northwestern. Yeah. And we lost to Georgia Southern, which nobody could say was a talent issue. I mean, my, my argument without even being, that much better just finishing out games we won eight games a year ago right and and i guess if you want to get into that 
you know, comparative, like, well, this was your schedule last year and this is it this year. Well, we play the same teams pretty mm-hmm. much in conference mm-hmm. and we replaced Oklahoma, Oklahoma with Colorado. I mean, the argument should be that, like that. you know, schedule wise, yeah. I wouldn't say that it's any harder. And, and that's why, look, I, again, I'm not setting ceilings. I'll give you a ceiling. It's 12. And I think this is what, boom, this is what uh, Jumbo Steam here said. Uh, the ceilings 15. No, the floor is 0 and 12. What I'm talking it's about. science. See there, he, he gets it. And that, and, and <laughs> he's exactly spot, right. <laughs> and it's spot on. Yep. You cannot be wrong there. Nope. It's guaranteed. He's, we used to call that hedging your bets. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm fine with it. And it's fine. It, but that's, that's the, that's the God's honest truth is right now it's 15 and 0 or 0 and 12. It's that, that really is what it is. Like, God, I hope it's not 0 and 12. I mean, I don't, I think 0 and 12 is a little, but still uh, it, it, it's just, you're just guessing. And I get to, you know, we're, we're content creators. You got to talk about some of the off season, but my God, it's, it's just the arrogance and the certainty of some of these statements. I'm like, it just turns me off. It just turns me off. No. It's like when my wife says something like, you do this every time. Then my mind immediately thinks of exceptions. I'm like, no, didn't do it that time. <laughs> and then I miss the point, and then I get in more trouble. But that's, that's just I'm just kind of letting you all in on how the brain works here for me. It's it's so fantastical. I just think of exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, there's a lot of things about about that. We're, we're on a show that does a bet cast. Yes. And there's a reason you and I don't do it. Correct. <laughs> it, it literally means nothing to us. Zero. Now, now, Abby, Plus I'm going to bring another one up. She goes, they aren't useless. They're just the best we can provide given the current data. They'll likely change. And Abby, she's a doctor, number one. And she's a doctor of <laughs> of stats. I mean, this is what she does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm never going to argue with her when it comes down to the stats side of it. They're it's, always right after the fact. That's for sure. Well, it, it's literally that the analytics, you know, analytics can tell you a whole bunch of things. They and can, right now. They can tell you what happened. Yeah, and and they're going to change not only in season, they're going to change between now and the beginning of the season because things are going to change. We mm-hmm. still don't know. We know that we are under 85 in scholarships, but we don't even know which guys have right. technically exactly. left yet. Yeah. So, again, when it all comes back to the uh, to the certainty, when anyone is so certain that they can tell you what our what our ceiling or where our floor is, I usually I usually give them that look of, yeah, of, it's of like, the rock there. It, it just is. It just is kind of how I think, too. And – you know, and I, I understand the probability. I do get the probability of it. It's just I, I don't know. I don't watch football for probabilities. I don't. I don't think like that. And yeah. I, and I know people. I know a lot of people do, and everybody's different. And, but but Vegas just just keeps putting up bigger and brighter buildings. And you'd think if these analytics were so <laughs> good, somebody'd be cracking that code. But I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. 